Boy, you're about to meet my stabbing arm. Ha ha! Ha ha! Yeah! I'm yeah, gonna stab you. I like yeah, you. Right, brother. You got a stabbing arm too. Hello, chaps. Wolfcore here, and welcome back to Fallout 4, one quest at a time. So, I have actually a lot to show you guys. Uh, first of all, let's say hi to Captain Kirk. Hi, buddy. Hey. Say hi to the chaps. How you doing, buddy? Got any hey, new tricks? Boy. You know any tricks? Oh, you're so cute. You're so cute. Wasn't quite a trick, but it was cute. So I've started collecting teddy bears for Captain Kirk. You know, as one would. And, uh, oh, before I, before I reveal it. So I did this before, and I worked on it for about a half an hour. And I ended up uh, losing everything, because I forgot to save like an idiot. So I've spent the past about hour and a half working on Sanctuary really hard, and I really like how it turned out. Are you guys ready? Drumroll! <laughs> Isn't that cool looking? Especially at night. Uh, I got rid of all the beds and stuff. Basically, we're not using this structure anymore. This is now Captain Kirk's house. This is still my workshop. And that's still where we're growing our food. So let's just kind of run through and check everything out. going to be taking the gray matter from uh, that guy we killed. Gosh, I can't even remember his name off the top of my head. But the one who kidnapped Sean, we killed him, took part of his actual brain, and now we need to go to a place called the Memory Den uh, to see if this doctor can give us any kind of clues using the part of his brain that we have. So that's pretty gnarly, but eh, let's do it. Gotta get it done at some point anyways. But before we jump into that, we actually have three levels. I did a lot of crafting in town, and with Idiot Savant, we got quite a good chunk of experience from that. So let's decide what to spend these on. BRB. Alrighty, chaps, I think I've got it. Uh, definitely, the obvious choice here is rank four of sneak. So you are now 50% harder to, to detect while sneaking, and running no longer adversely affects stealth. That is fan freaking tastic. Running no longer affects our stealth level. That is so freaking convenient. Yes, please. And thank you. And I think it's about time that we throw another rank into locksmith. So now we can pick expert locks. And okay, uh, we can also pick master locks here. Fantastic. So I think I'm going to throw the last one into there. 
So what then is rank four? Your bobby pins never break during lock picking. Gotcha, gotcha. So it's like the skeleton key from uh, from uh, Oblivion. Excellent. Although I think they actually brought the skeleton key back for Skyrim too, but don't mark my words on that. Anywho, that's fantastic. Uh, I know we have a master safe in Fort Strong. And that's the only one I can remember off the top of my head. So maybe we'll just cut over there really quick and see what was in that master safe. BRB? Alrighty, chaps. Here we are back at the U.S. Army Base Fort Strong. There's the Brotherhood of Steel and the Pride Wind right over there. And I do recall there being a master safe in here. So let's just pop inside and see what's in it. Huh, here we go. So... The odd thing is that apparently I had the key for the safe, so maybe, uh, it's not even that good of a chest. Not good at all. A freaking pipe pistol in it. Am I misremembering? Was the master safe somewhere else? Because that was quite underwhelming. Maybe we got the key downstairs or something? I'm going to keep looking around. I feel like there should be more. Alrighty, chaps. Well, that's a little underwhelming. I, I think that safe was a master safe, but we must have found the key when we were clearing downstairs. And I just didn't realize. But a uh, fun, interesting little thing is that when we were down here, we were liberating all these mini nukes for the Brotherhood of Steel. And you'll notice that now the shelves are clear. So that's a nice little uh, immersive touch that they did. They actually came in and took them. Anywho, uh, if you guys can remember where any of the other master safes were, let me know in the comments because I'd love to go back and find them. But let's jump to good neighbor. See you guys there. Alrighty, chaps, here we go. Good neighbor is about 45 yards in that direction. Ooh, but Captain Kirk found something. What do we have? Franklin. Oh, is this the... like a monument for him? That's pretty cool. Hmm. Magnifying glass. Cool. Maybe Franklin Roosevelt? Seems a little small for a presidential monument. But maybe he had nothing to compensate for. Who knows? Alright. So let's get the lay of the land. We are in the middle of the city. In the middle of the day, which is unfortunate. I really wish you could pick the time of arrival. Oh yeah? Oh my. You're a little tougher than I expected. Back off. You don't stand a chance. I think you tried to use a stim pack there. What a smart man. Okay, so... Are you all alone? That's unusual. Hmm, that looks quite walled off. So we'll have to skirt around this way. I would imagine. Ooh, super mutants. Hello. Good night. <laughs> Night Vision 45. Nah, it's a pipe sniper rifle. Garbage. I know, I'm so easily distracted. I can't help it. I can't help it. Oh! Somewhere. Hey, who did that? Who did that? Oh. <laughs> you hit like a rad roach! No, we don't. Come here, doggy doggy! Oh, you motherfucker. Get him, boy. No, you don't. Don't hurt my dog. Easiest way to get yourself killed, you fool. 
Captain Kirk, here's a stim pack, buddy. I've always got stim packs for you. You okay? Good boy. Good boy. Ow. Dang, getting a little low on food. How do I get to this asshole? Ooh, legendary. Legendary. Hope that grenade went through. Oh, it did. <laughs> my way. Yeah. Oof. This guy means business. Oh my gosh, that hurts. That freaking hurts. Hmm. Boy, that's not the best place to stand. Here we go. Wasting all my new stim packs. I'm so painstakingly crafted. These stupid super mutants. Oh my god, fuck this guy. Alright, I'm going around. I'm going around. Is this it? Nope. Alright, caution mode, that's good. Okay, this feels right. I think he's... Oh, Captain Kirk. You are so brave. So brave. The bravest of us all. One more crit. And that bleed should be enough to wreck him. Whoa, that would have hurt. Are you okay? I'll give you a stim pack. Oh, stop moving. There you go, buddy. There you go, buddy. You're gonna be alright. Crippling calibrated powerful combat shotgun. 50% more limb damage. Wow, that's that's a strong little weapon right there. Actually, not so little. Ooh, well. I wasn't kidding when I said I was easily distracted. Alright, I'm gonna quickly run through this place. If there's anything interesting, you chaps will know. Alrighty, chaps, so I have worked my way up to the top of this structure. Uh, there wasn't really much of anything throughout the structure, but we do have a very large chest up here. Lots of ammo, frag grenades, cryomine, bayoneted, hair trigger combat sniper rifle, and a ported, calibrated, powerful pipe pistol. Uh, pu -pu -pu -pu. Just take that for the funsies. Anywho, uh, let's get back downstairs. Oh. Uh, uh, uh. Alrighty, we are back downstairs. I mean, I, we did get a pretty darn good shotgun out of that, so that's cool. I don't know if we're going to be using it at all, but, you know... It was a fun little tangent. And I definitely fell off the building and took a whole bunch of damage. But here we are at Good Neighbor. Which, to my understanding, is sort of like the slums of Diamond City. So let's pop inside. We have discovered good neighbor. People here might be a little hey, on the edgy hold up side. There. I, First time in good neighbor? You can't go walking around without insurance. Well, go fuck yourself. You better back off, or you're the one who's gonna need insurance. What was that? I, I couldn't hear over the sound of all that pathetic. You are you literally hand over about everything to die. You got in their pockets, or accidents start happening to you. Big, bloody accidents. 
someone steps through the gate the first what? time. What? You're about to meet my stabbing arm. Ha ha! Ha ha! Yeah! I'm yeah, gonna stab you. Love for your mayor I'm gonna thing. stab you, you piece of shit. Let him go. Oh, who's this guy? Shaw Hancock. You keep letting outsiders walk all over us. One day, there'll be a new man. Come on, man. This is me we're talking about. Let me tell you something. <laughs> Why'd you have to go and say that, huh? Breaking my heart over here. I like you. Know, you. Brother? you got a stabbing arm, too. <laughs> uh, I, I didn't hear what he asked. You. Yes. I'm fine. Thanks for taking care of him. Good. Now don't let this incident taint your view of our little community. Good neighbors of the people, for the people. You feel me? Everyone's welcome. Absolutely. If anything, it improved my, uh, my feelings on the neighborhood. Good neighbor? That what you call this place? That's right. We cobbled this little neighborhood together out of the freaks and misfits that just wouldn't be accepted anywhere else. You'll see. You make enough friends here, you'll call this place home soon enough. So long as you remember who's in charge. I respect that. I respect that. I wonder if we can get uh, this guy Hancock as a companion. He seems pretty cool. Oh, new face walks into my store. And you're not even screaming yet. Very polite. You let me know if anything catches your fancy. Hmm. Your smile. Let's see what you got. straight. All the supplies, money, or violence can buy. Hmm. Daisy. Daisy, you got any legendaries? Oh, yes, you do. Let's see, so you've got a left leg, increases movement speed by 10%. That's cool. And chest piece, which reduces damage from humans by 15%. Hmm. I almost want to buy that left leg, but... Eh. I think what we have in slot is better. Let's, uh... Let's sell some stuff. Let's get rid of that, and I know we have a whole bunch of aid crap that we don't need. Like all of these bleed-out syringes. Bubble gum. You want some drugs, Daisy? Here we go. Alright. Made some caps there, awesome. And, uh, I won't steal from you, I like you. See you again, Daisy. Oh, hello. Well... Hello. Everything here is guaranteed to injure, maim, or kill at your discretion. <laughs> Except me. I only kill when I want to. <laughs> I like you too. You each weapon tested on someone who deserved it. Awesome. You've got some more caps. What do you have? Do you got any legendaries? Yes, you do. 10% uh, of melee damage reflected back to attackers. Temporarily slows time during combat when you are 20% or less health. That's really interesting. Uh, but I'm okay. Okay without that. And, oh. Rocket Launcher Legendary does 50% more damage against humans. Party Starter. Holy crap, look how expensive it is. That's 12,000 caps. You need to remember that's here. I wouldn't mind having that. Alright, he doesn't have anything I want at the moment, but we can get rid of some more of this aid that's clogging up our inventory. Don't need buff jet, or that, or that. Damn, that's already about it. Three. Oops, one too many. Whatever, you can have an extra. Cool. Made a little bit more cash. And here Brother we have Steel, the memory deck. Stay out of good neighbor. All I'm saying. I'm Brotherhood. You got a problem? Hi. Now I've seen a lot of crazy stuff in my time, but a flying ship, yeah, how's a... Yeah, pretty impressive. We could nuke the crap out of this place, and you wouldn't even be able to touch us. So you better not talk shit. <sighs> Man, that guy hella triggered me. Got super triggered there for a second. <laughs> I 
Oops. Probably don't need my knife in here. Hey, boy. Well, this is a nice place. Mr. Valentine, I thought you had forgotten about the lonely. May have walked out of the den, Irma, but I'd never walk out on you. <laughs> hmm. Amari's downstairs, you big flirt. Hey, Nick. Here's Here your friend. Oh, Amari, she's downstairs. Hi. What's up, Nick? Nick, let's go talk to Amari. All right. Lead the way, good sir. Could we pick up the pace. Oh, here Dr. We go. Amari? Yes. I take it this isn't a social call. Hi. I'm Wolfgore. This one's all yours, Nick. We need a memory dig, Amari, but it's not going to be easy. The perp, Kellogg, is already cold on the floor. Are you too mad? Putting aside the fact that you're asking me to defile a corpse, you don't realize that the memory simulators require intact, living brains to function. Ah, semantics. Please. Nick told me you're the only one who can make this work. This dead brain had inside knowledge of the Institute, Amari. The biggest scientific secret of the Commonwealth. You need this, and so do we. Fine. I'll take a look. But no guarantees. Do you have it with you? Heck yeah, I do. Here you go. Here's what I could find. What's this? This isn't a brain. This is... Wait. That's the hippocampus. And this thing attached to it? A neural interface? Oh, those circuits look awfully familiar. I'm not surprised. From what I've seen, all Institute technology has a similar architecture. Interesting. Go on, Doctor. Mr. Valentine is an older generation synth. But Institute technology being what it is, the brain implant could fit him. But that's an incredible risk to take. We're talking about wiring something to his brain. Don't worry about me, Amari. I'm well past the warranty date anyway. <laughs> Nick, you're a badass. I appreciate this, Nick. You can thank me when we've found your son. All right, let's do this. Whenever you're ready, Mr. Valentine. Dang, Just so they're gonna wire that thing. Tackling like an uh, old kill up, kill up, what's his name? Pull me out, okay? Let's see here. So they're gonna wire Kellogg's memory implant straight into you Nick's to head. Talking to me, Mr. Valentine. Any slight change in your cognitive functions could be dire. Are you feeling any different? There's a lot of flashes. Static. <laughs> I, I, I can't make sense of any of it, Doc. That's what I was afraid of. The mnemonic impressions are encoded. It appears the Institute has one last failsafe. There's a lock on the memories in the implant. Uh, what do we do? Tell me you have a way past this, Doc. Let me think. The encryption is too strong for a single mind. But what if we use two? We load both you and Mr. Valentine into the memory loungers. Run your cognitive functions in parallel. He'll act as a host, while your consciousness drives through whatever memories we can find. Great, let's do it. All right, let's get started. Just sit down over there. And keep your fingers crossed. See you on the other side. Good luck, brother. Whoa. Okay, I guess that's your pod. You really dashed over there for it. I wanted this one anyways. I do not remember what we're about to do at all. Standing by. Hi, Captain Kirk. Oh, look at your cute little face. Between the transplant and the host, mnemonic activity coming from the transplant. It's degenerated, but it's there. We're going to load you into the strongest memories we can find. They might not be stable. Just hold on. Okay.
Can you hear me? Ah, good. The simulation appears to be working, Whoa. although the memories are quite fragmentary. I'll try to step you through the intact memories and hope we find one that gives us some clue to the Institute's location. Okay, this is cool. So those straight up look like brain cells with like there. synaptic connections this going on. This is the on. earliest intact memory I can find. Um, ah, and the path reveals itself. So we literally get to play through Kellogg's memories. That's fantastic. What an interesting quest. Oh, what's this? Remember, you are experiencing these memories as Kellogg. This may prove disorienting at first. Yeah, no kidding. <gasps> Look at all those comic books. Can I take them? No. Mm, what a joke. What's it mean, Mom? Nothing, Connie. People like to talk and hope someone else is going to keep them safe. The teacher at school said the NCR would bring back the good old days. Like before the big war. Don't you listen to that twaddle. I'm going to stop singing you if that's what they're teaching you. I'm going out. Where the fuck did you put my boots? Listen to me, Connie. You take this. You're old enough. You're the man of the family now. It's your job to protect us. Your father's useless. But you won't turn out like him. You're a good boy. And all that on the radio. All useless talk. The only thing that will protect you in this world is that gun in your hands. You need to learn to use it if you're going to survive. I... I will, Mom. I promise. I will let you down. You have always been my good boy. This doesn't seem to be what we're looking for. Jeez. There appears to be another intact memory close to you in temporal sequence. There. Try no that. I wonder Kellogg was so fucked in the head. Sounds like he had a pretty rough life growing up. Kind of feel bad for him now. Then again, he did shoot our wife, so. So I'll take that back. Damn. You ain't been skipping it's gonna leg be day. Fine. You'll see. But we don't know anybody here. And now, with the baby? Come on, Sarah. You've got to give it a chance. I finally got steady work with a good outfit. Nothing like that in the NCR these days. No, I, I'm not saying this was a mistake. I, I'm just... Are you sure these guys know what they're doing? They seem kind of green. I know. But that's where I come in. Just wait. In a few years, I'll be running my own crew. As soon as I make the connections I need. Then I can give you anything you want. And little Mary, too. I never worried about you before. Must be my mama instincts kicking in. <laughs> Who knew I had those, huh? Come on, you're great with her. And you don't need to worry about me. Most of it's just running security for the she. A lot of standing around looking tough. Well, they sure picked the right person for that job. Listen, it's gonna be great here. See this? This is what's gonna keep you and Mary safe. I promise. I know, Connie. I'm sure we're gonna be really happy here. We are. You'll see. That's okay. I got it. Let's keep looking. <laughs> I'll connect you to the next intact memory. Damn it, game. Stop making me care about Kellogg. Guy had a daughter and a wife. Jeez. Wonder what happened to him. Maybe they're still around. Not like he would have told us about it. What's that? Okay, nothing. How did you think this was gonna end, Kellogg? <laughs> you thought you could just fuck with us? 
and we wouldn't fuck with you? Just so you know, they died like dogs. Mm -hmm. And you weren't there to help them. Get him. Get him, kill him. Another memory to try. I'll connect you. So it sounds like the she actually murdered his wife and daughter. Poor guy. Damn it! Why am I caring? Mind if we sit down? Suit yourself. So, um, I hear you'll take care of people's problems. Is that right? If you pay me. Oh, we'll pay you. And, uh, you'll do this all by yourself? That's right. We pay you when the job's done. Is that okay? That's the way you want to do it? So who do you want dead? Well, it's like this. There's his family. Lives down the creek away. Well, we seem to be getting closer. Try this next one. Hmm. So he lost his wife. Lost his daughter. Looks like he might have become a bit of an alcoholic. And he is now a paid assassin. But what, what else are you going to do with your life after a loss like that? Hello. Can't really blame the guy. I'm glad you decided to meet with me. So, you're with the Institute. I wanted to see for myself you really existed we do as you can see what do you want it's come to my attention that you've been rather disruptive of our operations lately this must stop I do what people pay me to do if that's a problem for you I could see only one way out and what's that mr. Kellogg if I'm working for you there's no more problem from what I hear, you can afford me. I don't think you fully understand the situation you're in. I think I do. Very well. B-748, initiate. Oh. Oh. That was cool. Hmm. Impressive. We may have something to talk about after all. Getting warmer. One of these has got to tell us something. Oh, that was cool. We're running out of grain here. Ah. Ah, there's one that looks mostly intact. Connecting now. Alright, so credit where credit's due. Kellogg is kind of a badass. Manual override initiated. Oh. Cryogenic status suspended. Vault computers are still working. That's good. Checking through the logs. Hopefully it's all just <gasps> pod C6. That's down the weird. Hall near the end. Oh my gosh, there's our wife and Sean. This is so cool. This is the one. Here. Open it. finished Kellogg I just need to confirm come on, come on, come on. all right we're good I'm uh, I'm sorry you had to go through that again I found another intact memory 
whenever you're ready. Wow. We've come a long way. What a cool quest. Such mixed feelings about Kellogg now. Is that your son? This appears to be a very recent memory. So, good news, I think. Okay. What? One of these days you're gonna get your head blown off just barging in here like that. Minimizing my exposure to civilians is a priority. Forget I said anything. So what's the big crisis this time? New orders for you. One of our scientists has left the Institute. Left? As in? He's gone rogue. Name's Dr. Brian Virgil. We know he's hiding somewhere in the glowing sea. Here's his file. Wow. Some heads are gonna roll for this. Capture and return, or just elimination? Elimination. He was working on a highly classified program. No kidding. One of the top bioscience boys? Damn. So, I guess you're taking the kid back with you. Affirmative. Your only mission is to locate and eliminate Virgil. You're taking me home to my father? Yes. Stand next to me and hold still. Okay. Dang. X688. Ready to relay with Sean. Bye, Mr. Kellogg. I hope I see you again soon. Whoa. Bye. Teleportation. Now it all makes sense. Nobody's found the entrance to the Institute because there is no entrance. Let me pull you out of there as soon as you're ready. All right, I'm ready. Wow. Wow, we've learned a lot. So the Institute uses teleportation to get in and out. And Sean, it looks it looks to be like 10 or 12 or something now, so it's been quite a few years. The procedure might have had. No one's ever done this before. How do you feel? That was cool. I'm okay, Doctor. Thank you. That's good. But I want you to keep monitoring yourself. We have to be sure there's no long-term damage. Are you ready to talk about what happened in there? We got what we needed. The Institute uses teleportation to get in and out. Yes. Their greatest secret has finally been revealed. But that only leads to more questions. How does it work? Where do we go next? Oh, yeah, the, the scientist in the glowing waste, Virgil. That scientist Kellogg was supposed to track down. Virgil, we need to find him. You're right. A rogue Institute scientist could answer all kinds of questions. Where did the memory say he was? The glowing sea? That doesn't make sense. No one goes there. Not even if they were desperate. Mm. He must have been really desperate then. If we need to find Virgil, then I'm going after him. If you're going to go, be prepared. You'll need some way to combat the radiation there. It's called the Glowing Sea for a reason. So I do know of a way, and what we can do is line one of our power armor suits with lead, and we'll be able to survive the Glowing Sea. But that'll be a tale for another day. I'll find a way to get through the rads. Don't worry. Good luck, and be safe. By the way, I unplugged Mr. Valentine first. Remove the implant while you were waking up. He's waiting for you upstairs. All right, so we completed Dangerous Minds. Thank you, Dr. Amari. We have started the Glowing Sea. Whew. 
Sorry, was that scary, boy? I'm okay. <gasps> Comic book. Nice. Robco Fun. You've collected an issue of the Robco Fun. Includes the Grognak the Barbarian holotape game. Eh. Okay. Oh. And this isn't stealing. So we can grab a few supplies here. Purified water. Nice. What else do we have? Right away buff out. And some stim packs. Oh. There's actually quite a lot on this table. Two more stim packs. Awesome. Awesome, awesome. Okay, let's go say hi to Nick and then I think we'll call it there. Nick! That was some crazy shit, man. Are you okay? Hey, Valentine. Hope you got what you were looking for inside my head. <laughs> that was right. I should have killed you when you were on ice. I was not expecting that. Kellogg? Is that you? What? What are you talking about? Uh... Feeling you okay? Feeling all right, Nick? Yeah, I'm fine. Why? You sounded like Kellogg just then. Did I? Huh. Mari said there might be some mnemonic impressions left over. Anyway, I feel fine, so let's get going. I'm gonna head out on my own from here, Nick. Good luck out there. You know where to find me. Yeah, me and Captain Kirk have it covered. Genuinely appreciate the help, though. We couldn't have done it without you. Alrighty, chaps. I think that's where we're gonna call this one for today. I wanna thank you all so much for watching. If you enjoyed the episode, hit that like button for me. If you just wanna help the channel grow, you can leave a comment. Any comment will do. And if you'd like to subscribe for more of my content, I'd certainly appreciate it. Either way, I will see you guys next time with more Fallout 4.